Some major medical news now surrounding Alzheimer's. Next week, the federal government could give the green light to a new medicine to battle the disease. It would be the first Alzheimer's drug to hit the market in nearly two decades. Our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, has details. In the next few days, the FDA will make one of the biggest moves in the fight against Alzheimer's disease. It must decide whether to approve a controversial first-of-its-kind medication that may help those in the early stages of dementia. It slows down the progression. We do not cure the disease. We do not turn back time. So yes, it will be a good medication for people on earliest stage of the disease. The monthly IV treatment, called aducanumab, removes amyloid plaque in the brain, a substance some believe leads to memory loss. The debate is whether the drug also improves cognitive ability. Ron and Kalita Deshant understand the need for medical pioneers. She's a nurse, he's a pharmacist. Ron's memory began to wane a decade ago, and in 2015, he signed on to test the drug. They have to have hope. Critics say the trial data isn't enough to prove it works and the FDA shouldn't approve. There's more um, loss of memory. I don't know what it would have been like if we hadn't started it. So, you know, we're kind of the optimistic group. And if it doesn't help us, it'll help somebody. Supporters admit the studies aren't perfect, but it may help some and fast track research. This has opened the door to a whole new way of treating and addressing Alzheimer's disease. It will be one of the first of many come down the road, hopefully. But even if it doesn't get approved, hope isn't lost. We have three or four more in pipeline that actually have more promising results. Even if it's not approved, I don't call it failure because we learned so many things from it. So we should know by Monday if the FDA will approve the drug. And if that happens, it may take six months to a year before it would be available. Then there's the insurance aspect. Some are saying it could cost $50,000 a year per patient. The company that makes it, Biogen, has 600 sites across the country ready to administer the drug if it is approved, including Cleveland Clinic. And you were saying, you just pointed out, a lot of controversy involved in this, certainly. Yeah, so it'll be, this is an iffy one. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of people, who, including like the Alzheimer's Association hoping that this gets passed, but there are some who said, you know, the two clinical trials that they did, one was positive, one was negative, so they don't think the research is all there, but this yeah. could still open the door for a whole new type of medical research into sure. Alzheimer's. More to come. All right, Monica, yeah. as always, thank you.